Welcome back to Algo HQ here with John Woods, CTO of the Algorand Foundation in Dubai at Decipher. How are you doing? I'm feeling good. We've just had two days of fun in Dubai. The teams have come together, the Inc. and the Foundation, to talk about the roadmap, the technology, and everything we're going to be building in 2023. Yeah, the whole gang's here. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure to be here. You know, big community turnout, high energy. Everyone's having a good time. Everyone's meeting new people. I can't wait to see what comes of this, you know, in the future, all these connections and all these Absolutely. networking and all that stuff. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. And just to meet people who I've been personally working with for uh, over six months uh, in person for the first time. I spent 12 hours a day on calls with these people. And, right. uh, you know, to finally give them a hug, it, it's a very human thing, but it's, it's been lovely. And I think just the, the level of excitement and the electricity at this event, uh, yeah. I'm blown away by it, actually. Yeah, it really brings it to the next level. You're right, when you see those people in person, you're like, you have a body. Yeah, like yeah, a yeah form. you're real. <laughs> All right, so we're going to play a quick game with uh, John here. What is the game? <laughs> and we are going to essentially, he's going to give us the 30-second rundown of some complicated Algorand technology things, uh, you know, just to see how fast he can sum these things up. <laughs> I hope I get these right. Okay. okay. Okay, let's do it. First one is uh, state proofs. State proofs are a technology um, that are issued on the Algorand blockchain um, that attest to the veracity and the state of the transactions on the chain. They're issued every 256 rounds. Um, they use a post-quantum signature scheme called Falcon, which is NIST approved. Um, and they do two things for Algorand. Uh, they provide quantum security to the history of the chain, and they also provide a super easy way to build bridges between Algorand and any other chain you like. Hell yeah, okay. Verifiable random functions. The VRF, the verifiable random function, is a cryptographic primitive or cryptographic Lego brick built by, or invented by Silvio Macali, who's our founder. Um, and it allows us, it really sits at the heart of consensus. And so what it allows us to do is in a, in a, in a deterministic but, pro, but uh, probabilistic way, mm. and so what I mean by that is, um, we don't know what it's, who it's gonna pick next. But when we look at who it's picked, we can verify that it was done correctly. Mm -hmm. That's deterministic but probabilistic. Oh, okay. And so this VRF primitive allows us to select someone from all of the participants on the network to create a block, validate a block, and add it to the chain. And then finally, um, we're using the VRF in some other new creative ways. As an example, many applications will require a source of randomness. Uh, I don't know if you remember okay. like Doom as it, when we were kids, mm. uh, although you're, I'm a bit older than you probably. But but I know Doom, yeah. yeah. You know at the start of Doom, the, the, kind of the screen melts down? Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, that uses randomness, right? Because it melts different every single time. That's so cool. Yeah, it is cool. That. And so um, many apps require this, right? From gambling apps to other things. Um, and so the VRF allows us to have a source of on-chain randomness. So it's a very useful tool. Thank you, Silvio. Okay, okay. Verifiable random functions, amazing. Box storage. Yeah, box storage. Okay, so... Um, folks be aware that you um, interact with, with smart contracts that live on the blockchain. Well, many times in applications you want to save files, right? Um, at the moment, right now, there isn't a great way to save files on the Algorand blockchain. Mm -hmm. So you want to put up arbitrary data or just big blobs of data on the chain, you got to build workarounds and it's not as easy as it should be. Mm -hmm. We're all about improving the user experience. Box Storage is a new API or technology that will allow people to store as much data as they need for their application on chain in a global extensible storage. Mm. Can cool. I put Call of Duty Warzone 100 gigabytes on chain? You actually could. It would cost you a fortune. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but you could. <laughs> How much would it cost? You know? um, um, I actually don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that right. it, it, it would be definitely more expensive than using Dropbox. You should use Dropbox. Okay, okay fair enough. Uh, relay nodes, participation nodes, what's the difference? Sure, okay. So. Um, there's a single code base with Algorand. You go to GitHub where the code is developed, okay, in open source, there's a single code base there. When you compile that code into an application, you can configure it to run in one of, actually about three ways, but let's focus on relays and participation because they're the most important ones. Okay. Um, when the code is configured to run as a relay, its job is simple, um, but not easy. Uh, the job is to propagate data throughout the network. So when anyone posts a transaction, when anyone uh, calls a smart contract, when a block is created, when a block is, is being passed between the participants, the relays are the super highways of data for the network. Sending it back and forth. Yep, that's their only job. Send okay. data back and forth, highways, highways okay. of data. Um, in the other mode of configuration, the node totally changes what it does. And so in the participation mode, the node is responsible for consensus. So it keeps, it creates blocks and validates blocks um, and adds them to the Algorand blockchain. So mm. quite literally, literally, this node can either be propagating data or securing the network. Okay, okay. Finally, Algo Kit. Okay, the big one. So, 
I am a massive fan of a great user experience, and I'm very particular about the products I use. In my own personal life, whether it's the shirts I buy, or the coffee grinder I use, or the, yeah, this one's a cheap one, <laughs> or, or, or the phone I use, I really care deeply about things. And sometimes I will not buy a thing for a long time before I find the product I really like using. Okay. And so I think I'm personally like this because I care about the user experience so much, and if I have a crappy user experience, it makes me like just, it really uh, like flips me off. So, yeah. um, I recognize that Algorand is great, the protocol is sweet, but where we need to improve is this developer experience. Mm. Writing PyTeal raw at the moment is not that great a developer experience. So, AlgoKit is Algorand's answer to a great developer user experience. So, it's a tool suite, it's a product, it's an application. We're gonna be releasing in Q1 next year. I'm hoping to have a developer preview uh, available in January, so I can add any interested developers to that and you can come and test drive it. Um, but AlgoKit really is, like it's a soup to nuts, end to end solution. So, folks who may be experienced developing on Windows with Microsoft's Visual Studio uh, app application, mm. or indeed building iPhone apps with Xcode on, on the Mac, these tools give you a one-stop shop. You go in there, you start your project, you're able to build, test, deploy, send to the App Store, you know, you can debug them, you can do everything right there within, the, within those apps. Mm. So, AlgoKit is this for Algorand, right? AlgoKit's gonna give you all those modern tools that you're used to. Command line, um, command line, uh, interface so you can just write up uh, in one line um, one line command you can build test and deploy it's going to have syntax highlighting built into VS code which is a very popular ID that people use okay um, it's going to have a full unit testing framework so that you can like unit test your code or this is like test the functionality of your code before you deploy okay it's gonna have a super cool simulation environment mm. so you can like locally bring up a fake blockchain well it's not actually fake yeah. it's actually real but it, yeah. it's a local just blockchain for you yeah. so that you can like run it on this like pretend simulated blockchain mm. and see how the app performs right without costing you a cent mm. um, and then finally I'll add one last thing it's got a whole, whole bunch of stuff but one last thing it's going to let you focus on writing the contract and only the business logic within the contract and so right now there's all this boilerplate and pain in the ass stuff you got to deal with that's gone away and so AlgoKit's going to make sure that you spend less time writing boilerplate and more time writing the code that matters. Okay, super cool, super cool. If you're a dev, definitely get in contact with him on Twitter. Uh, it will definitely be in the description of this video. Follow him, you know, you gotta keep up with what he's up to. Hopefully he can be the Moses to the developers of uh, Algorand and blockchain devs who yeah. wanna come in and split the right. Red Sea of, right. you know, uh, opaqueness and difficulty and make it just super clear and easy to make an app. Uh, this has been John Woods from the Algo Foundation, the CTO. Definitely uh, an amazing person. Super glad to have him in the ecosystem, so thank you so much. Hey, thank you very much. Of course.